Hello. Hi there, ma'am. Ron calling from her room. How are you doing? Uh, I'm good. I um, Are you calling about my address? Because I, <clears throat> I spoke with someone this afternoon and they took care of it. Yes, they asked me to call back because there seems to be a problem. Oh, what's the problem? Okay. So, yeah, the employee that you spoke to this afternoon, it looks like they put in your new address incorrectly and the whole account just got deleted. Ugh. Yeah, right, it's a real pain. Um, just to confirm, is this Deborah that I'm speaking with? Yes. Now, it looks like what had happened is we had had a slightly disgruntled employee. I'm just going to be honest with you for legal reasons. And okay. when they've been dealing with the customers this afternoon, they were due to be terminated on Friday, but it looks like they began messing with all the customers today. Um, okay. I currently have your address as 1169 Bona Drive. Oh, it's 1156. 1156. And I have it down as Bona Drive Penisburg. It's B O N I. I'm not sure what they did here. B O N I Drive. Okay, because, yeah, let me see. They've changed all your information here. They've got you down as Penis, Penisburg. Bona oh, Drive, my. Bona Drive, Penisburg, number 69. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry this has happened. I need to go through and just confirm some other information with you to make sure there's not going to be a, a problem here. Could I just confirm okay. what your last order was for? My what? Your your last order. What what was the last thing that you ordered? Um, There was two bras. Right, it okay, was, um, because they've they've gone the, ahead and they've gone ahead and ordered some other things as well on here. What? Yeah. This is quite a pickle we've got here. You didn't order the uh the toys, the adult toys today. What? No, I didn't order the I, I'm trying to no, trying to be bras. trying to be polite here. Um yeah, I have I actually have an order from today for three more bras, the peephole bras. Were they yours? Wow. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, are you so they weren't you, I take it. Oh man. No. I I, I got two bras total. Um, oh my goodness. From my order. Let me, let me bring mm, up my mm, thing. Mm, mm. Yeah. Um and the strap on oh was the goodness, was this that's terrible. Did you want the strap on still? Um, let me see which ones they were. The st I can't well, even it's the st the strap on. It's like a leather belt with a uh, an attachment. Let me look. I'm gonna bring. Mm. I'm trying to find it here. All right, no problem. Okay. It's um. Okay, they were both the same. And sorry, uh, just before e I go e any Lord further, Jackard, um, can I could just confirm that I'm speaking to Miss Deborah Bellend? Is that correct? Yes. Deborah Bellend. Bell. B E L L. I have the name listed here as B E L L E N D. No, it's Deborah D E B O R A H. Bell. B is in ball. B E L L. That's all. B E L L. Deborah Bell. Okay, and just to confirm, this is a business account. I have your business name listed here as the the Cock Depository. Oh, my goodness. You know what? You could just delete my whole order. Honestly, oh my just God. delete my whole order and credit my card. It's all wrong. That is not... I have no, no look, business look, what, account. Yeah, what has happened here is we have had a disgruntled employee that has been terminated, and it looks like whenever they've had access to the accounts, they've been going in and... Placing a lot of fake orders on your on your card, you're going to see charges on your card for this. I am I am so sorry about that. Um, wow, this is my total was eighty eight dollars and twenty cents for two bras. Yeah, we have further charges. We have just another charge it. going out today for one hundred and twenty six dollars, and then another uh. charge for sixty nine dollars after that. And then tomorrow there's another charge. Well, it, it will go through at midnight, but there's another charge for $286 on there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I am sorry about that. Yeah, this this is really, I've never, honestly, I've never had this problem with anything. I order bras from all kinds. I mean, I've heard of this company, too, and I don't, I thought it was safe. 
No, absolutely, ma'am. I can assure you we're a safe and legitimate company and we are taking steps to deal with this immediately. Um, okay, so everything, everything is going to be swiped from my card, right? Well, those everything. those charges are going to go through. Now, what I'm going to do is get those get those cancelled and reversed, but it may take six to eight weeks for the money to be returned to you. Um, if it was a credit card, it can be even longer. Wow, this is this is really ridiculous. I I, I really am. hope you're going to do something about these people. What do you mean, these people? The, whoever did this to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a shame. I mean, the person that did it happens to be he's he's actually I've got to be honest, he's in the office with me right now. His name, the guy you spoke to earlier, Mr. Diaz. Do you do you recall the name of who you spoke with earlier? I didn't speak with a man this morning. It was a lady. Yeah, yeah, that's his wife. Um, that's Kathy. She's in the office with me as well. They're both right here. Yeah, I spoke with the lady. Yeah, all you all were, she asked me for was my address. Yeah, and she I would have had. He did my address, and that was it. She would have had full access to your account. She's actually. Would it help if I get her to apologize? Because she's been advised to apologize to the to the customer. No, you know what? I don't even want to talk to her because I might say something I regret. All right, but no, I would really Kathy, appreciate she, it. Kathy, just void off even, my order totally, okay. down to zero. Just take everything off my whatever I mean, it the, is. And the problem that I've got it. here, the problem that I've got is I am going to do that. I'm going to zero out all these orders, so you're not going to receive any goods or anything. But there is, I mean, you'll have seen in our terms and conditions, there is a mandatory cancellation fee. Um, so you I, will see. Uh, why should I have to pay a cancellation fee? If they're screwing with my account, no, it's just upsetting to me. That's the only reason I want to delete this this is upsetting to me well yeah but it is just standard on all our, our i thought that's what she said as well on all our accounts um it, it is only 10 percent, but there is really nothing i can do about that i mean okay I, okay so how about if i do this just i mean the, send me the two bras that i did order and delete everything else whatever it is they did so that i don't have to pay a fee well i i can okay. delete them but because i'm not a supervisor when I delete them, it will charge you the ten percent. That's what I'm saying. Okay. No. Um, uh, no. 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 What I'm saying is the two bras that I did originally order. Yes. Yeah. We are still sending those. Bras. We are still sending those. Yes. That's yeah. fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But the okay. other, I'm talking yeah, that's about. Okay. I'm talking about the other orders that 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 Kathy and uh, her husband put on there. Um, there will be a t because I'm not a supervisor. It does charge the ten percent if I cancel them. You see, when you're asking me to cancel them, I'm just warning you that you will see an additional charge if I do that. Uh, okay, so the the things that they ordered on my account, yes. I have to pay ten percent. If if I cancel it and not a supervisor, yes, that's what I'm trying to. I've been uh, trying okay, to tell well, you for the last ten then. minutes. F fix it to whatever. I all I want is my two bras that I ordered. Well, the problem is, I mean, I, I know you want the two bras. We keep we're going around in circles here. I keep trying to explain to you that I do need to escalate this to a supervisor for them to make sure you don't get charged the ten percent. I've been trying to say this for about five minutes now, but you you just oh, won't okay. listen. Um, uh, uh, this is. I just don't. Like I said, I don't. Listen, I know. So, I mean, what I could do, um, before I escalate you to the supervisor, I just need to verify your identity. Are you in front of your computer right now? No. Okay. I have my phone right here with my order right here. Okay. Do you know how to open a web browser on your phone? Like Safari or Google Chrome? No. Can you hold on no. one second and you could speak actually with my husband? That way I'll get this right, okay? No problem. Yeah, pop your husband on the phone. Okay, can you hold on one second? Yeah, no problem. Can you hold on one second? Yes, no problem. Take your time, ma'am. Okay. 
husband and wife. I said, I was talking about that. Well, you didn't know what it was about. That's for us. That's for us. I said, I know, but she's lost. Well, there's all kinds of sheep in work. 280 minutes, blah, 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 all one on a cat. And I said, I can't do this. I can't do the whole freaking thing. No, I can't do the whole thing. And I have to pay a 10% cancellation fee to cancel. But I just don't want this to be a good You can buy it. So who am I speaking with? Tim Bell. Tim Bell. Okay, Tim. Uh, this is Ron calling from her room. How are you doing? Not too good, apparently. Yeah, what, okay. What, what's the issue, sir? My wife says somebody charged a bunch of stuff using our credit information. Uh, no, so what had happened is your wife had ordered a selection of products. Um, it's, obviously, I know it's quite sensitive, but there are some adult products on there that were ordered. And, no, she didn't order that um, at all. She had informed us, or she had called up today because she wanted to cancel some of them. She still wanted the, the bras, um, but she wanted to cancel some of the other she items. She only ordered the bras. Right. Right. But, you know what? I'll just... Um, I can submit a fraud report on my credit card company. Right. But, I mean, the problem is because she called up and gave the details, there is an irreversible hold on those funds, so it would not be would not be authorized. It would be contested. Um, I mean, the problem explain is... She, that, explain that to me. Well, that, that's just how it works. So you can't just claim everything's fraud when you've made a legitimate purchase with the company. If we it didn't make a legitimate there system, purchase. There are systems in place for that. Um <clears throat> Look, uh, can I confirm that your wife, because it wasn't clear from speaking to her before, do you still want to keep the peephole bras that she ordered? That's all she ordered. Right, the, two, the two peephole bras, um, they, they are ordered, they are still coming. Now, does she still need the strap-on and the, the, un the other underwear? She did not order those. <sighs> okay. So as I was explaining... Show me, show, show me the order confirmation. Where's the order confirmation on these items? The order con... What? Do you want the order confirmation number? Do you want me to send you an email? What do you, what do you want me to do here? Yeah, send it to her email. Because okay. the only thing she ordered was two bras. That's it. And one of them was on back order. Now, did she explain... It's not like you guys are running a shady outfit. Absolutely not, sir. We're here to, to do whatever you want. I'm just not sure how this could where, have happened. Where are you located at? I'm in Southern California. Now, sir, I'm just looking at the order here. Did your wife explain to you what had happened with the address and the and the phone number and everything? Tell her we have the cell phone as well. She just didn't pick up when I called that. Let's go back to the original issue. This is how oh. it went on. All right. She ordered two bras. Yeah. She got, got an order confirmation. Correct. One of them was on back order. Yes. She gets an email saying that they want verification on the address. Which yes. Which was puzzling because in the order confirmation, it was very clear that the ship to and the bill to were the same address and they were correct. Right. Correct. But, but so what, that's the end of the story. She ordered two bras, that's all. That's, not, that's not the end of the story. I did. I, I mean, if you'll let me speak. <clears throat> We had it. Can you? Sorry, sir. With all due respect, could you ask your wife to shut up for a moment while I explain to you what's going on? It's going to be impossible for you to understand the details. If you're not otherwise. going to be polite, then we can end this conversation now, and I'll, I'll handle it I'm, another way. I'm absolutely going to be polite, sir. But your wife's talking over me while I'm trying to explain the situation to you. We had had a, a disgruntled employee who had edited some information on the account, so I was calling to confirm the address myself. We had you listed as down at 69 Boner Drive, Penisburg, and obviously I know that's not correct. Now, I'm going to send you over the confirmation email. It looks like your previous confirmations email went to 
Deborah the stupid bitch at gmail.com. That's that's what they put in here. So would you maybe be able to confirm the real address for me? That would help. The real email address. <clears throat> That's perfect. And um, are you able to check the email for me now so I can send you a verification and some information and make sure it's gone through? Are you able to do that? Yeah. Okay. Just getting all that sent over to you now. Just confirm with my assistant that that's been sent. <laughs> uh, Jamie? Could you... Uh... Yes, sir. I'm sending that out now. Great. Send it as high priority on the email machine, please. Will do. Okay, so you should have that email in a moment if you want to keep checking the email inbox there. Uh, welcome from my assistant, Jamie, I believe. Jamie, what email did you use? Uh, the one you gave me, sir. I've sent it now. No, I mean, okay, never. Just uh, just let me know if there's anything in the inbox there, sir. Yeah, the work one, yeah. Yeah, the work one. Anything there, sir? Uh, hold on. No problem. Let's go into my computer. Oh, okay. It's on a computer, not the phone. Great. So I've sent you, it should be a PDF, and it has all the order information in there and the charges. Mm -hmm. So you having a good day over there, sir? Uh, hold on, please. It's slowly coming around here. Slowly coming around. I'm waiting for the computer to fire up. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh hmm. What? What is this bullshit? Excuse me. This PDF file. What happened? It's it's porn. It's what? It's porn. I'm sorry. What what kind of porn? Scroll down, can you, there must be some mistake, maybe it got the header image wrong. Scroll down, tell me what you see. Hello, sir? Sir? Hello. Hello, sir, what happened? Are you looking at porn instead of the email, sir? I don't understand. Hey, bu hey, buddy. Yes, sir? Yes? Sir, I think you forgot to finish that sentence. Hello? The, the, the file you sent me was a PDF of porn. A PDF of porn? I, don't, I just simply don't understand. What kind of porn? Why... What's wrong, sir? Are you jerking off? Are you enjoying the porn a little bit too much there? Because I just... <laughs> <laughs>